This is uh, the Autonomous Vehicle Express Lanes video demo. So I'll start out with the Pi Car. It has three options. Uh, normally it would be 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and uh, use whatever time you have left on your account. I will demonstrate this um, briefly, just, just one of them for right now, and then I'll show you the rest in a bit. Code has started and it is going to be going off of this database file right here. Uh, this database file is actually linked through SSH coming from this server Pi. I cannot demonstrate the SSH wirelessly because of the school's wireless network policy, but you can through Ethernet. So if we change this value to a 1, I'll show you the before and afters. So this is the before. This is the before. And I hit this. This adds one second. And the 10 seconds are from over there. So hit this and run it. Now it's going to go for 11 seconds, stop, and then reverse for 11 seconds back to its starting point. And you can see the 11. So this is the middle. Now it's done. And it's sent back the finish time to the server. And here's the last one. Zero. Prove that it's at zero like that. Now, coming to the station side of things, we have the force sensor and the RFID reader. And here's the station. It's connected up to, here's the FSR, um, it's in a voltage divider layout, and the V out is actually the V in for the non-inverting op amp. And then we have GPIO pin 4 taking the output from the non-inverting uh, op amp, and I'll show you that, how, the, how all this works. Currently, the database says we have zero for demonstration purposes. If I wanted to show you, it worked all the way from there to there to here. I can do that. Uh, but I'm just going to show you this right now. So we have four RFID tags. These ones over here are marked as invalid or they do not have time on their accounts. And these ones are good. So we'll use this one to show. Well, we'll show you the bad one first. Start it up. Waiting for next car. I gotta do this quick. I'll show you. Alright, 
that's an example of time limit limit exceeding. So it's waiting for the next car to pass again. This is an invalid card. Waiting for the next car. That is a valid ID. This will be a valid ID also. The code also has a timeout feature. Waiting for scan. Time limit exceeded, capturing. All right, there we go. Okay, so waiting for next car to pass. If I want to add time to show that that is updating this. Say 10. Alright, well that is updated. Let's restart this. Stop waiting for next car. Valid ID. Alright, next is the email. to prove it. Here's my send box for my Gmail, it's empty. Here's my inbox for my Yahoo, empty. So when we take a invalid ID and scan it, Time limit exceeded, taking image, sent. Let's wait for this, maybe refresh it. And we get a email from the station. With an attachment of a picture. And this would be going to the authorities or the police or the person's mailbox so that they can have proof that they took the express lane illegally. So there we have it. The camera's facing. Valid ID. The second part that just switched over right here is because it went back over top of it. See that? So that's a valid ID. Next up is an invalid ID. Updating the new invalid ID. It's time so that it's actually corrected. So that it has zero minutes. And fixing the camera so that it is positioned a little better. It's taking a picture of the license plate.
see invalid ID or no purchase time alerting authorities. would be the authority station. Download this. There it is. Now this also stores on the system itself. Might be a clearer copy. 